to be passed by Congress. Let's check in with a member of Congress. It's Ken Buck of Colorado. He's also a member of the House Judiciary Committee and a member of the House Foreign Affairs Committee. Congressman, thanks so much for being with us. You heard there from David Spunt that Nancy Pelosi is going to put it to a vote, increasing those checks from $600 to $2,000. How will you vote on that potential bill? I absolutely in favor of giving the American people $2,000. I think it's the right move. I think the president's absolutely right. But that's only part of what the president is suggesting. Uh, Nancy Pelosi gave uh, the members of the House just a few hours to read 6,000 pages of legislation. She did that because she had stuffed this bill full of pork. We are, we are funding, in a COVID relief bill, we are funding uh, two new museums to women's history. We are funding uh, social engineering programs in, in Pakistan. We are funding a panel to examine the succession of the Dalai Lama, all sorts of pork projects in this bill. What the president is saying is, make America first, bring America, the, the pro make America the priority. So stop funding foreign projects in a COVID relief bill, knock that out, and take that money and use it to fund the and, and give the American people a $2,000 check. If Nancy Pelosi does that, I think she'll get overwhelming Republican support. She'll certainly have my support. But just to add a $2,000 payment instead of a $600 payment to the pork that's in the bill is just unacceptable. But is she going to do that, um, Representative Buck? Is she going to take the pork out of there and all the programs that she loves? Um, I, I guess I'm curious, is that what the bill's going to look like? Is well, once again, she gave us 6,000 pages and a few hours to read it. I'm sure we won't have a chance to read this bill before we vote on it, and the Democrats will vote for it. The Republicans want to see the bill. If she strips the pork, if she if she stops giving her pet projects in the United States and, and overseas uh, this, this money, um, she will get Republican support. But it takes more than just an hour of debate uh, to understand a bill like this and, and to fully examine it. So I, I would hope that she would start sending this bill out and letting people know that all these terrible projects are being stripped from the bill and that the American people are going to benefit. This is just a play that, that Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer are making to try to win votes in Georgia. Let's, let's just be uh, you know, upfront about that. And it's a very cynical play because it deals with something that's very important to the American people. Well, we know that's what they do. They did the same thing before Election Day. Congressman, is there a way to separate the two bills, the $900 billion for COVID relief from the $1.4 trillion omnibus bill, which, can, which much of this is contained in? And the urgency created for COVID gives an opportunity for all the pork, as you're talking about. Is there a way to just do COVID, as Republicans have talked about for months, at an even higher number than $600, and then debate the rest of that stuff later, or, or at least get a chance to cut it out? It's a great point because Nancy Pelosi uh, actually had uh, brought other kinds of pork uh, to stop this bill from being passed before the election. She wanted to uh, help fund the uh, failing pension systems in California, New York, New Jersey, um, and, uh, and other blue states. She she was involved. She wanted to make sure that the president didn't get a win before the election uh, by uh, sending out a check to the American people. So she has stalled for months to make sure this bill didn't pass, and now on the the eve of this bill passing, she is going to refuse to take out the pork that's necessary to fund an additional payment that the president is asking for for the American people. Congressman, just a point of clarification. I want to move on to ask you about the coronavirus vaccine, but just as a point of clarification, it sounds like when you're answering Rachel and, and Pete's questions, your support for the $2,000 increase is tied to reducing the pork in the government spending bill. If that's not accomplished, if Nancy Pelosi won't take that out, I'm, I'm reading between the lines, then you will not vote for an increase in the, in the COVID relief checks? I will not vote for an increase in the COVID relief checks that places a huge burden on our grandchildren to pay back the national debt, the $30 trillion in national debt that we have already accumulated. Absolutely not. All right, thank you for clarifying where you'll vote on those bills that possibly look like they're coming in the next couple of days to Congress. Let's ask you about this really quickly. We know that several members of Congress, like Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, have already gotten their COVID vaccines. Um, I'd love to ask you where you stand on that first. Let's take a look at AOC and some other members of Congress and where they've been on getting the vaccine. The COVID vaccine became available to members of Congress last night, and we are urged to take it. Okay. Okay, that's it. There you have it. She took the vaccine. Members of Congress were put toward the front of the line. Where are you, Congressman? Will you be getting the vaccine? Have you already? 
I have not gotten the vaccine and I will not jump the line. There are healthcare workers in America who need this vaccine desperately. There are uh, seniors and, and those with uh, pre-existing conditions that need this vaccine. I am a healthy, uh, young 61-year-old man. Um, I am not gonna take this vaccine until those who are at, uh, at risk take the vaccine and then I will evaluate whether I'll take the vaccine or, or not uh, at that point. But I think it's a big mistake for 30-somethings that are members of Congress to uh, assert their elitist uh, position and take this vaccine rather than giving those who are desperately in need of the vaccine the vaccine. It's very similar to the discussion we just had about the pork, taking the pork out of the bill so that Americans can get that $2,000 uh, relief. Right. Well, Congressman, um, we know that there are a lot of elderly people who are suffering and dying of loneliness in nursing homes and, and, and really should receive that vaccine before healthy Americans so, uh, and young Americans. So thank you for joining us and, and Merry Christmas to you. Thank you, sir. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Merry Christmas.